Batman Arkham City. The first game, Batman Arkham Asylum, was a surprise success. A licensed comic book character in a video game that's surprisingly good is a lot harder to come by than it seems, and it's no surprise that we got a sequel. Arkham City, as it's now called, is still quite mysterious, but here's what we do know so far. More Batman villains are stopping by, the setting is a slum made for the thugs to keep them secluded from Gotham, but Batman's true identity may be in trouble, and Harley Quinn has another kinky outfit. If the gameplay and style from the first one is anything like it is in Arkham City, then this is going to be one hell of a game. Bulletstorm a new IP from Epic Games and People Can Fly that is attempting to bring back the fun in first-person shooters. And boy does it look fun. This game is less focused around your kill-death ratio and more focused on your high score. Your score increases when you find clever and creative ways to kill your enemies. All the possible ways of killing people in this game look like it's going to be a blast. A plasma leash, a carbine, a grenade launcher thingy, and your trusty old boot are a few of the weapons to choose from to completely slaughter everything coming at you on screen. They already released a demo for this on Xbox and I think also PS3, but hey, who's gonna play an epic game on PS3? And while it was only like 5 or 6 minutes, I had an absolute blast every second of the way. I can't wait until I pick up this game later this month. My manipulating hasn't even begun. Gears of War 3. The third and final chapter in the Gears of War trilogy coming out later this fall. The planet right now, just as it always was, is still pretty much a giant shitstorm. The locusts are still in power, humanity's last stronghold, Jacinto, is now thousands of feet underwater, the government separated and the last humans left only in a fairly smallish rebellion group. Hope is very, very bleak for everyone, but their miserable suffering is our gaming delight. New weapons? Four player campaign, all new multiplayer modes, and some of the most brutal and violent finishers I have ever seen in a Gears of War game. Delta Squad's final chapter looks to be just as great as ever, and I cannot wait to play it. It looks to be a truly epic last game in the trilogy. Get it? I said epic, cuz it's epic games. Nah. Nah. Ah, screw it, that was lame. But still, pick up this game, it looks sweet. Portal 2, the sequel to Valve's surprise smash hit hit Portal back in 2007. We return back to Aperture Science, now a shadow of its former glory, after you pretty much fucked it up anyways. What we've seen from Portal 2 makes everything from the first game look like mere child's play. They ain't fucking around this time. This stuff looks head spinning, brain twisting, and overall mind fucking. But it looks so fun nonetheless that it's bound to be a blast no matter what frustration I endure. It's been a long time. Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. When I got my PS3, there was only one game going through my mind that I could not wait to finally play. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves. It was amazing. A truly cinematic and engaging experience. I know it's, it's been said before, but my god is it such a fun single player. And if Uncharted 3 is anything like Uncharted 2, then this could be one hell of a game. So far, all we really got was a trailer from the VGAs and an early gameplay demo, but still little is known about the game either. All I know is that Sully will be a large part of the game, and the setting this time around is more of a desert area with a few other er, weather environments as well. November 1st, 2011, the date to remember. It could also be the day you see my tent parked right in front of everyone else at line waiting at your GameStop to be the first one to get a copy at the midnight launch. So, if you go to the midnight launch, that guy in front of the line is probably going to be moi. Or some hobo looking for food. It might just get you. Sing with them, sing for the year, sing for the laugh and sing for the tear. Sing with them just for today, 
Never tomorrow, the good Lord will take you away. Sing with them, sing for the year, sing for the life and sing for the...